Hi there, I'm Kaya, and I am taking a first look at Planet Zoo, the beta. Now, this will not be officially out until the 5th of November, but we're gonna take a little sneak peek before then. Um, I'm a little unfamiliar with this type of game. I play a little bit of Tycoon games, but not a lot. So I'm gonna, you know, approach it slowly so that it's not a complete hot mess. It might be mostly a hot mess. I did fiddle around with it just a little bit um, just to get a little bit of a feel for it. So I'm gonna go in and start the career and start from the top, show you how this game begins, how it progresses. As you can see, there are other options. You have the franchise, which, whoo, a lot of work. But the career here, I'm thinking, is very much tutorial based. And we're gonna take a look at that. I will say that the game lacks a lot in accessibility options. The audio has subtitles, but those subtitles are very small and it's not the best. But we'll see what we can do. Now I'm gonna start again with the stately homeschooling Goodwin House. Renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 1980s, Goodwin House has become one of the most respected zoos in the country. More recently, it has undergone a further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities, but due to various issues, the work hasn't quite been completed. Which is where you come in. So yes, as you can see, I did try a little bit. But I'm going to start a new game, and we're going to go do this from the top. Let's go. It is slow loading at this point. Um, I may actually have to cut this loading scene because this is taking... There we go. Here we are. And it's a very beautiful scene. Now... Sorry about that. I have a habit... This... Being... It's good voiced. To finally meet you in person. It I'm means gonna... that Although you kind of have to go at its pace. The only person who calls me and like you can see, <laughs> it's just this, a small little box at the top of the screen. The <laughs> That's... So even though there's sort of a light framework of story, like if this you're trying to film this for people, you need to have this really loud for them to even hope to hear it. But we're in the middle of a big renovation, so yeah. and that's where you come in. Here, what I will know, we are renovating the zoo, and we are the new hire in in the effort to do this. So we Don't need to just come so. in here and finish. I'm not completely throwing you into the As you can see, a lot of My this is already we'll completed. That's beautiful. I mean, even without it being on its ultra settings, it is gorgeous. Sure like I better, do not have it on ultra. On my, 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 you might say my graphics card has gotten a little long in the tooth. But it is still very, very beautiful to look at. Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. <laughs> Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. As you can see, this is sort of your basics. And we're just gonna zoom over to the crazy bears. Ahem, that's a tree. Sorry about that. Here we go. I do find that 
that grizzly bears, the also known as Ursus Arctos, controls feel a little slippery, but there are sensitivity <laughs> options. Again, so if you find yourself struggling, I think a lot of people would do that too. As I very select one of the bears, evidently the am. Information panel. Here we go. So here's the bears. And when you click on them, this is where you can find out all as she says, information, information panel. Your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. Mm. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? See here, the camera, and then you get to get in close. See now, this is a fantastic way to and get that is beautiful. look at your animals. You can also get I'd love to see this with top graphics. On it. Because that is stunning. I mean, look at that for okay, when you're even ready, at this let's point. Hop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. Right. Lions next. Lions and tigers and bears. Right. Okay, bear butt. Anyway, let's see the lions. Let's let's just get out of here by Zachary the grizzly bear. And we're just gonna hop over to the lions, which should be... Oh god. <laughs> I'll learn how to control this game eventually. I will. Here's the lions. You can see again. Got this beautiful habitat. Panthera Leo Leo. Or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although pride That's a lot of lions. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome. That's like <laughs> precisely 30 to 50 lions. These days. Anyway, how about we get started? Not like in here. Here there's like on, three. But... Let's head over to our warthog habitat and see what needs doing there. Warthogs! I don't know if any of them will be named Fumba. I almost wouldn't supr be surprised though. This game seems to like a little bit of cheeky humor. As you can see, it's a lovely space for warthogs, but it's missing a certain something. <laughs> well, two somethings. <laughs> the warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. To adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. There it is. Here you go. Warthogs. I there may have... Oh, a pair of there they are. Splendid warthogs for our zoo. Just click on them and select buy from the side menu. Normally the animal exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last thing I need is you accidentally ordering a dozen elephants. I feel like that's insulting. I would never accidentally order a dozen elephants. I might admittedly do it on purpose. So we got Atwanea and Ayobami. Uh, both of which cost an amount of money that I'm pretty sure you cannot buy a warthog for unless it is a small toy heart. Uh, well, not a small toy warthog. Statuette. A warthog statuette. In bronze. But $80 for an actual warthog seems a stretch. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center. Where they're mm, they bring it to the trade center, to as she mentions. As it happens, you are. Just so how about here. you move them into their new home? I'm not entirely sure. I guess it does say storage, so I guess if you're not ready to add an animal, then you can just keep them in here before you put them in the zoo proper. And you just schedule up a delivery. And unlike some games, they do not get air delivered. When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location. So let's go and watch the so now we are action. going to the trade center, as she says, to see the caretakers moving the animals around. I don't think you normally keep animals in storage um, at real zoos. 
It doesn't sound like something you do, but uh, let's zoom in here. Well, as you can see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I am assured by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. Wait. Right, let's get the warthogs habitat finished up so we can keep Wait, nice was that teeny crate supposed to be the warthogs? Has an overall welfare statistic. That can't be right. Basically how happy warthogs are. And that overall welfare statistic Big. is itself comprised of four different areas: <laughs> nutrition, social health, All right. habitat, and enrichment. That box was the warthogs. <laughs> if you select an animal, you'll bring up the animal welfare information panel, which we saw earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, you'll know exactly what they're hungry, to be thirsty, addressed. don't worry if they're that's bored. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. Yes. All right. So, there we go. Let's start by making sure we're taking care of the warthog's nutrition. Mm, here, more to do this, we'll need to goals. And she's goals just telling you that this is what now, you need to do each animal to do these things. So, if you and for the warthog, a habitat, a small feeding trough. you can so see, nice, and a water nice bowl. food trough. Nice large food trough that is apparently only ten dollars, and a nice large watering bowl that is also only ten dollars. Animals somehow. also require stimulation to keep them happy. And of course, Let's add a lovely mud bath. A lovely mud bath. <laughs> that bath will count towards their enrichment. And that's welfare, this here, which is also ten dollars, even though it's this big. I don't. No, about that. But I guess it is a game. The mechanics are gamified, but it is a little funny. You've got a knack for this, I see. Now, our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished thingamajigs and watsits all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's over near the hippos. So, ostriches it is. God, this really is a beautiful place. Something is supposed to be so unfinished. It really is very nice. Here we go to the ostriches. I should probably close this. I have to say, oh wait, here we go. I don't, we have a thing here. There does not seem to actually be a way. I really don't like how this comes down across the bottom so very much. Because I feel like it does kind of cover up some of my view when I'm trying to do the habitats. But anyway. I guess maybe I'll get used to it. Here is the ostrich habitat. Yes, that we have located. Okay. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Every habitat needs a habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach so. it. Habitat gate. Must be hooked to the path. And we're just gonna get a good angle here. You can see, we'll slide in here. Very nice. Nope. Right. Let's complete like the that. barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. I've marked out an area for you to use, so I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. So this i'm gonna go start from here now i don't know it does seem like it's okay you can actually change the length i'm looking down at this panel here if you can see you can make them straight or you can make them curved you can change the length of them as you wish and the height so that is really nice even have these angle snaps so there's a lot of, of options here it does not have to be a uh, one way or another. And because you can fiddle with it quite so much. Look at that. Good work. Remember, 
before you can place animals you can if you're really really into your your stuff being very straight and very symmetrical you can do that here this habitat at the moment at least not without a step ladder but seeing as they're banned i'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in so modern zoos um especially over here if you've been to the zoo in Copenhagen or Berlin, I've been to both. They're really quite beautiful, beautiful places, but especially in Berlin. And one thing you see that they do these days is that you there we go. don't I have know, as much of a wall barrier. You have the these ditches, so big sure ditches between you and the animal. Because that sort of makes the habitat a bit more natural a for the animals, and you get to see more of them. The last thing we need to but uh, to here we have this old thing, the view of an animal, with some viewing videos, and a donation box. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Right, yes. Must never forget them. I'll just put it right All here. Right. You finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Let's get yes. four of them in here. We're gonna have four ostriches going to animal trading again. And here we go. There are four of varying quality. We have Rahima, a common ostrich that is pretty good. I don't know exactly what these mean here, this, but I'm guessing that means it's a pretty good ostrich. Do we have Chasiki? Again, not a bad ostrich. Not as good, but not bad. Akiki? Who, again, good ostrich, not bad. I'm guessing this will have its own function and that we'll learn more about it later. And then we have Yejide, the least impressive. I think she's kind of old and infertile oh poor thing it's tough being the old ostrich actually it's not as old as i i uh iki iki. do they live this long oof that's old so going to the trade center again and we are just going to move all of these birds into our Zoo, ostriches are so much fun when you go to the zoo because they are so silly and they just sort of do this thing where they rub their heads and necks in the, in the sand and it looks ridiculous. Send you to the zoo. While we wait for them to be collected by the caretakers and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add right. A suitable feeding so station, again, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment. We're item. looking at food it's things. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter, so guests can get a really good. I'm actually view of the gonna animals. just. <laughs> I know I don't have to do this, but I'm just gonna. Oh, I can't. It doesn't seem like I can. Oh well. Oop, there they start coming. So let's get them some for some habitat goodies. So we have a slow feeder. This is an enrichment item, I'm guessing. And it just means that they have to work harder to get their food. They have a little more fun with it. So we have a nice water drop here as well. Um, I can't seem to put it here. I put it under the shade of the tree. That's nice. And then we have a large regular food bowl. Which I'll just plop right here. And there we go. We have finished oh, all the bronze objectives. The have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Oh, heaven forbid that I is fast. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> that is definitely fast. Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. 
Did he do his speed camera joke? Every <sighs> time we get an ostrich. Bernie, bring in the dad so, jokes. Now we've made the ostrich's lives a bit better. Let's do the same for the keepers, shall we? So We're just gonna. For the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a new keeper hut. Keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitat right to, to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. Yes. So we are going to go in here. We're going into facilities. Now they have three different keeper huts. They have the <laughs> they have the classic keeper hut small. They have the keeper hut small. And they have the Planet Zoo Keeper Hut small. But we've got this nice sort of brick here. So I'm just going to go with the classic. And we're going to rotate it. I don't know about the rotation here. I, this is the sort of thing that I would actually consider changing the uh, the control scheme for if I can. Because you have to hold down Z and just sort of move the mouse. And it's not very nice. We'll put that down here. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. So, oh, but bear in mind, that some place. keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. I, I don't get that. I don't something that I don't get it shops like a whole host of other have you ever been at a zoo and you've seen like zookeepers or some sort of behind the scenes action and just been like oh well that's ruined my day I know it's a game mechanic to make it harder but it's a little silly so we're gonna place this transformer here now the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power and as she heat mentions map. this is the power heat map see what is and what isn't powered in your zoo so once you place so the transformer, I you think all this in the blue, left, this is powered. And anything that is not blue isn't, I think. But we're just going to go ahead and we are going to put this transformer where it can be reached. I bet you anything, these can blow up randomly. Lovely work. And there we now go. The keepers can start using the hut to prepare food. And thanks to where you put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. Let's get on to your Wait next objective then. Bengal tigers. We want to adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. I kind of wonder about this hippo habitat. That water doesn't look like it's deep enough. But anyway, let's go find the tigers. We're just gonna go in. Ah! Oh gosh. <laughs> I did say that I am not. I don't. Not. I don't. Sorry. Anyway, right. We're just going over here. And as you can see, there's not really anything here. It's just empty. But. Yeah. Righty, your next job is to build a habitat. From scratch. And wood and concrete, I expect. <laughs> so go ahead and build it. And don't forget the habitat gate. It's always best to place the habitat gate close to the keeper hut. As it happens, there's one quite near to the trade center. Right. This is the trade center. Oh, this is the keeper sure the hut. We'll be able to see the tigers. And here we are. So I think I'm going to call this right here. We've achieved the bronze objective. Partway through the silver objective. And I am hoping to do another video or so on this. If you liked it, I'm not sure anyone would like this, but if you did, you can hit the like button. And weirder yet, if you'd like to see more, you could even hit the subscribe button because I am going to do a few more videos on this at least. So far, I do like what I see in a lot of ways. Though I do find some of the controls a little finicky and weird. But it does look like you can map the controls a lot more. That's very common on PC games. Um, so that's something I will be looking into in the future. But uh, thank you for watching and I hope you will return.